Hi, I'm Barb, and welcome back to another Weirdness Really Bad Movie. Now, as you know, we don't have a studio, so we go out on location to host our movies. And I'm Dave, and today we find ourselves here in Madison, Ohio, at the Rodney G. Klein Stock Market Museum and Library. Interesting. And since you like to link our movie with our location, what is our movie today, Dave? Well, Barb, since we're here at a stock market museum, I thought we'd show the movie Nothing But The Truth. A nice little 1929 comedy where a stockbroker has to tell nothing but the truth for 24 hours. That's a long time to hold your breath. Yeah, that would be. And now, the rest of the story. I can't tell them the rest of the story, Barb. Why not? Because if I told them the rest of the story, they wouldn't stick around for the end of the show. You mean the bloopers? Right. I've got some news for you, Dave. But the bloopers are the only reason some people tune in every week. Really? That's what my email tells me. Wait a minute. You get emails? Of course. You get them too, don't you? No. They must run out of ink before they decide to email me. Yeah. That must be it. But what I meant by the rest of the story is that you always have an ulterior motive for where we go. I think that's an ugly way to put it, Barb. Then how would you put it? Well, I would just say that I go film in places where I can get some personal perks. Oh, so you're using the old Dick Clark payola defense. That's right, and I hope to be just as successful as Dick Clark was. But Dick Clark lost. Ooh. Well, in that case, I hope to be more successful than Dick Clark was. The reason? The reason? Oh, the reason! Well, see, the reason I came here today is, you know, while the movie's showing, I can look around, study, make a killing in the stock market, and then I can retire early. But you already go to bed by 8.30. How early do you want to retire? No, I mean I can retire early from working. You see, that? that's where I get confused. You have to work a job before you can retire from one. There's always a catch. Okay, so I'll just make a small killing in the market. Did someone say they wanted to make a killing in the stock market? Are you a stockbroker? Uh, I've been called that. Then you're a financial planner. No, I've been called that before, too. Then let's try this one. Are you a con man? Like I said, I've been called many things. And you know, you look like a very intelligent woman. Thank you. So that's why I want to talk to this guy. What? Exactly. I've got some hot stocks here that are guaranteed to double your money in a week. Really? What kind of stocks do you have? I have some chicken stock and I have some beef stock. What, no celery? Well, that looks great, but I only brought like $150 with me. That's okay. These are penny stocks. While well, Dave loses his money one penny stock at a time, we better take a break, catch a sketch, and then start our movie. Nothing but the truth. Look, Barb, I'm going to double my money in just one week. Here you go. You gave me $150 one by mistake. Ooh. We'll be right back. Making money already. Thank you. 